Standing still. Boom, big boy. Dying to get you in the film. Do you want to take my photo or what? That's so don't know, this thing's broken. I don't think I lost the roll of film. Hey team, Will Cobb here and today, today, I guess it's technically nighttime. So tonight, tonight, we are finally taking the rolls of Cine Still 800T I've been hoarding and hitting the streets of Atlanta. I don't live in a big city so neons are not really around where I live, but I grew up around Atlanta and went back for some time with family. And I got away for a night to meet up with my photography buddy, Danny, to show me some dope spots. Before we get started though, do stay tuned to the end of this video so you can learn how to win the Olympus OM1 35 millimeter 28 millimeter 2.8 lens featured heavily in this video and a roll of Cine Still 800T 35 millimeter film. This is the winning combo for this video and you'll see what I mean in a little bit. So stay tuned to the end of this video to learn how you can win this. All right, come walk around with us and you'll see the photos and I'll walk you through some of the ways to utilize Cine Still 800T and expose well. Our night starts just after sunset on the famous Jackson Bridge where the Walking Dead season one poster was shot. What's up, dude? I'm a digital guy, bro. Dude. I'm all digital. So this is Danny, this is my bro. What's dude, up, man? He is awesome. Uh, at digital photography, but I've been dying to get him into, <laughs> dying to get you in the film. Well, man, I'm trying, dude. I show off the goods. This is my little Canon P, and I just got this Voigtlander 35mm 1.7. It's pretty tiny. I prefer this. I just like the wider, especially with shooting. If I'm gonna shoot film, eventually, yeah, I might, might as well have some tight. You've never loaded a, a roll of film before. No, I have. I just haven't done the. Oh, do you, dude, you, oh, you're recording dude. at the right you time. Came at the right time. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh it's shoot. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Get it done. You gonna take my photo or what? That's so it's funny. A video. It's a video. I'd like to thank all my supporters, nah. mainly, <laughs> mainly Cardi B and Offset. Cardi B. Hey. Woo. I've had this roll, I think for like three months, and I have not opened it up. I've been waiting for this moment. I, I know, dude. Ooh, there it is. And we can do that, right? And then I think we just go like, boop. Oh, there it is. And then go like that. You guys want my acid one? You want to wine shoot, wine shoot a few times to get it all set up? It's going to go on. One, two. One more, Stacy. One more. One more. There you go. Let's go. So one great thing about Cine Still 800T is that it is so light sensitive and you can get faster shutter speeds when it's fairly dark outside. A lot of the shots in this video, even though it was super dark, were around a fourth of a second. But the shots on the Jackson Bridge, we wanted to get those light streaks from the cars driving down the highway. So we let the shutter stay open for a good amount of time to get those light streaking. The trick to do this with good exposure at those longer shutter speeds is to stop down to something like f16 f18 i was able to stop down to f22 once i knew my asa i knew my f-stop it was easy to dial in my shutter speed using the lumo app i've said this in a few videos but i've never trusted old camera light meters especially at low light i metered the shadows but not the complete blacks more so where the shadows and the light was dark but not completely black and i think i got some great results we're shooting Atlanta today uh, on Cine Still 800T. We both haven't shot this before. Danny's nope. new to film photography. And uh, we <laughs> we're also don't know anything about night film photography either. Yep. So we're literally winging it. Uh, watch some videos. I feel like we're masters now. <laughs> we gotta see. <laughs> so we're gonna try to find some <laughs> sweet spots in Atlanta. Obviously we shot the Jackson Bridge, so 
try to shoot some more spots and then some also doesn't have to be fancy shots we can get some crazy stuff you think this is kind of interesting yeah i think anything's interesting at night I think the lighting is well yeah. so i've got my exposure here so are you gonna do wide open no i want to say like maybe f4 all right i think f4 is safe for this because you can get a little more in focus so this is saying 0.8 of the second uh, so I mean I'd probably go a second just to be safe but that's for a general if I point if I push in here and kind of get like a mid tone yeah I would do a second yeah that's gonna be the hard part trying to hit the right, so I gotta bring this bike down. trying to get low see if this looks any good Dropped this guy on the nice concrete after I shot a shot of the Weston. Um, this thing's spinning, so there's something mechanically wrong. The battery works. Don't know, this thing's broken. I don't think I lost the roll of film. So if you're watching this video and you see the photos pass by, I didn't lose the roll, but can't keep shooting with this. So we're gonna switch to the Olympus and put in some 35 millimeter. Yeah, I smashed the Mamiya 645. In the moment, I wanted to cry. The camera is my baby and has captured many of my favorite film photos. I don't have it on video, but I didn't wrench down the Arca Swiss plate hard enough after leaving the car and I went to take a vertical shot and it just fell when I let go of it. I freaked out, obviously, and it ended up hitting the film back, popped open the film, and I just closed it immediately and just contemplated my life. Luckily, I brought Cine Still 800T in 35 millimeter with that Olympus OM-1 I talked about before. That again, you can win by staying to the end of this video and figuring that out. As we progressed through the night, I wasn't worried about streaks and I was mostly metering around an eighth of a second to one second with F4 on that Olympus and a tripod. my camera being broken uh, dropped it on the back and I think I saved the film but we'll see um, 35 millimeters going well we're both at half roll on Cine still we just hit this coca-cola sign up awesome there's a reflection off of this Mercedes right there kind of hard to see on video but it looks really cool hopefully that works out Centennial Park. Hopefully we metered for tonight well. We're gonna see, but I'm gonna get this Olympic sign because um, in 96, Atlanta held the Olympics, so it's pretty cool. And then obviously I'm gonna nail this Ferris wheel. So let's meter correctly. <laughs> yeah, all my shots gonna be like trash. <laughs> So after that shoot, days later, uh, it was Savannah and I's anniversary and we decided to stay at the Westin, one of those 
tall buildings and the top floor that has been featured in a lot of these photos. It has always been like a dream of mine to stay up there, but it's super crazy expensive. But with COVID and all this stuff, the prices have actually been like way cheaper. So we did it. I was able to dissect the Mamiya and get it working. I opened it up and it was freaking scary to look at all the parts inside of there, but I was able to like fire the shutter and tape down the film back closed. So it ended up getting some light streaks in some of the photos I got, but when we were inside of the hotel, it wasn't too bright and the light didn't affect the cine still that we were shooting from inside the hotel. And the photos, it was worth fixing that camera. They are awesome. I just wanted to get this awesome skyline view. You can see Atlanta that way. We don't have the best view of it, but I'm gonna get some cool images of that with cine still and some of portrait too. So it's gonna be awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed running around Atlanta with me, and I hope you learned a few things about shooting film at night. The Olympus OM-1 saved my back uh, on this shoot, and if I didn't bring it, uh, I just wouldn't have been able to shoot this whole thing that I lined up with my buddy. Even though it wasn't my baby, my Mamiya 645, it got amazing sharpness, the images were absolutely butter, and you can win this with a roll of Cine Still 800T yourself. Let me tell you how. The first, hit that subscribe, be a subscriber on this channel. Number two, leave a comment down below on what you wanna shoot with this camera if you win, and make sure to put your IG handle in that comment. Third, follow me on Instagram and spread the word to all your friends on all those social platforms. A random commenter who did all those things will be announced on my Instagram on Friday, June 18th at noon Pacific time, and I'll reach out to the winner on Instagram DMs. Also, international friends, you are welcome to enter. A lot of international people have won some of my giveaways. All right, team, thanks for watching. Best of luck to the winner, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Hey, it's for YouTube. Will you, will you tell uh, everybody to like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. Like, okay, hold on. Cut that part out. Like and subscribe. I go to How many Auburn. drinks have you had so far? Um, zero. Zero? Get out of here. I smell that thing in the air. Ah, uh, no. It's probably the um, Camel Crush you smell. I go to Auburn, Alabama, and I'm oh, a Kappa. Rush to Kappa, baby. <laughs>